Hi Collective, this is Goddess Nicole Terrell, back to bring you another energetic reading for the Collective, for my beautiful and handsome Soul Tribe members. Thank you for the continuous love and support you show me in the channel. Thank you for entrusting me as your reader. You guys are greatly appreciated. I just want to tell you that I love you guys. With that being said, if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel if the messages are resonating with you. Keep in mind that all messages do not resonate with everyone, okay? Only take the parts that do and leave the rest for someone else, okay? With that being said, I can be loud on this channel. I also can cry on this channel. I also can use profanity from time to time. It all depends on what energies I partake in, what energies I embody, guys. The channel messages, the downloads, all of it plays a part. What I was getting... A download where what somebody was doing it has all caught up to them okay everything has caught up to this person somebody feels suffocated okay somebody feels like they can't breathe okay I'm getting that somebody is so overwhelmed okay it's, it's hard for them to breathe I was getting this uncomfortable feeling in the pit of my stomach, okay? So somebody could be going through some type of anxiety, okay? <clears throat> Maybe feel like something is boiling to the surface, it's coming out, it's overflowing, okay? Somebody could be angry, they could be frustrated, they could be stressed, overheating, okay? I did get that too as well. Sweating a lot, somebody could be sweating per perfusively okay constantly somebody palms can be very sweaty okay somebody could be very fidgety okay nervous okay <clears throat> i'm picking up that energy it's just like somebody feel like they could be claustrophobic because some type of truth have been has been um unmasked some type of truth is coming out okay um and I did some um, pulling of cards on this uh, download, what I was getting, because somebody is very fidgety, they're nervous. Somebody could be going to jail or they may feel like what has been unmasked or what's been upheavaled, uh, uncovered, could land them in some type of trouble. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. The first card that came out in my shadow work deck is anger. Somebody is definitely angry, okay? <clears throat> Something has been released. The card says release at the bottom, growth, okay? It also talks about balance. Somebody could be very unbalanced and stable, okay? Um, somebody's feelings and emotions could be all over the place. Somebody definitely could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or somebody definitely could uh, have those placements in their charts. <clears throat> It says expectations are not met, creating frustration, expressed in a healthy way. So somebody is not expressing their feelings and it's boiling over, okay? It's boiling, it's, it's to a breaking point. Yeah, I got fragility here, okay? So somebody feels in a fragile state, a delicate state. Um, They may feel broken, okay? This is what I'm getting here with the fragility, okay? A, fr a fragilinity, okay? Somebody is in this death energy. It says skull on the card, okay? Somebody is definitely in, uh, could be fragmented too as well. They could be distorted in this distorted energy, okay? Somebody is definitely stubborn, so they're definitely in their feelings. This is somebody that don't want to change. Whether it gets them in trouble or not, they feel like <clears throat> what they've been doing has cost them. They don't want to accept the fact that they could pay for this, okay? Somebody's definitely uh, not resolving issues or trying to grow here. The card says growth, resolve, flexibility. So somebody is spending their time mostly in their shadow side. <clears throat> Somebody said uh, they, don't, they don't want this. I heard they don't want this. They don't want this to come out or want this to happen. But it's already here. It's just giving me somebody is trying to hold up here. 
okay? <clears throat> it says it can be denoted perseverance but it also can it also may hinder you so somebody is being hindered hindered by their emotions okay yeah because some type of truth came out yeah and somebody definitely got to do some self analyzing okay some self-reflection here okay it says self-examining somebody has to examine the way they've been carrying themselves around here okay this is what it's giving me unmasking the truth the eyes see only what the mind is prepared to know. So that is definitely giving me that somebody is, <clears throat> what's the word? I'm trying to think of it. <clears throat> somebody is hiding their true self. They don't want truth to come out <laughs> with unmasking the truth. Somebody pretends like they don't know what they're doing but they know. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> that is crazy to me. I also got protection here. So the truth is being protected. One way or the other is getting out. Okay. It's being unraveled. Unraveled. Okay. I did get uh, finding wholesomeness in the reverse. Bring together fragments that complete you. Acceptance, inner peace. So somebody is definitely not accepting or taking responsibility for their actions. This is what it's giving me. Yeah. It's, they're incomplete. They're not whole. And they don't have any inner peace. It's just like... <clears throat> they're self-destructing. Is that's the word I'm trying to uh, think of here, guys. Yeah, these, this person know no bounds. Okay, this person puts on a poker face here. We got poker face. Beware of the hidden attentions and underlining motives of someone. Okay, you guys can know somebody like this collective that don't want to take responsibility. They don't want to take accountability. They don't want to face themselves in the mirror for who they truly really are. And everything and people around this person is starting to notice that things are overflowing here. Okay. And they're not good intentions. Okay. It says fools gamble. Beware of deceit of tricksters as a risky path can lead to a downfall. Exactly what I said. <laughs> Unmasking truths here. Okay. And then we have boundless spirit path and liberation here okay it says boundless spirit your only limits are those are the ones you put on yourself so this person is limiting themselves okay because they don't want to face the fact that they could be a bad person it's just simple as that this is what i'm getting from these cards somebody don't like to look at themselves in the mirror because they're a terrible person this is what i'm getting a terrible person Okay, it says liberated path, embrace freedom freedom as you break through, taking steps towards your true potential, which is your true self. Live in your truth. Okay, stop torturing yourself when you know you got to express yourself, even if that means exposing your, your shadow side. Because this is mostly what this person acts out in. <laughs> and they don't want to face it. They put on a poker face every day. Child, you are a bad person. And this person may feel broken inside, fragile. Somebody could have some uh, mental issues here. Give me one card for stubborn here. Let's get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> this could be somebody in your energy. Yeah, they're motivated by stubbornness. They're motivated by anger, acting out in their shadow side, not in, in uh, not uncovering, but somebody is unmasking this truth about this person. Somebody is, and they don't like it. They could be angry because somebody is telling them the truth or the truth is coming out about them. Something is overflowing. Something, something is bursting out, okay? <laughs> what else? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, somebody needs love. Mm, mm, mm. Or somebody does not know their love. They don't know themselves. They don't have inner peace or inner love. They probably don't even love themselves. They probably don't even accept themselves at the capacity that they 
are in or the position that they're playing inside of their life and playing inside of other people's life too because it could be affecting people around them. Okay, that's what I heard. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, somebody, somebody just don't want to do the work. They're in pride and ego. Come through spirit with pride here. Somebody just let their pride get in the way of everything here. Something to do with the numbers 23, 29 can be significant here, 17, 37. The numbers 1 or 39 can be significant. 28 can be significant. Even this could be somebody's parent or somebody guardian over somebody, okay? Or guardian in their life. This could be somebody's influence. Okay, somebody influenced this, this person. They 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 uh could be this person's parent or somebody who is very influential in this person's life. In influential or guardianship here. <clears throat> I don't know, child. Let's see. I also got when I picked up my karma deck, I used this deck also. It says there will not be anxiety. I said somebody is stressed. They, their uh, emotions are. In, I feel like a pit. I'm feeling in the pit of my stomach. Somebody could be getting caught up in a situation. Somebody could have uh, did something that they know that could be putting them in a line of fire. Okay. <clears throat> I got South Node. So trouble. Okay. It got remember. Reconsider. Now is not the time. Okay. Somebody definitely could be acting out in there. South no. This is part of shadow work. Somebody needs to work on the work on their way out of their south no. This is what it's giving me. And somebody don't want to do that. There it seems to me like this person is comfortable where they are. Okay, and they comfortable of being the person who they show up in people's life. <laughs> This person don't know love. They don't have peace. They don't know wholeness. They don't feel complete. They just a fragment of themselves. This is what it's giving me. And they're so, this is somebody who is very broken on the inside, very fragile. There could be some childhood wounds here <clears throat> that somebody needs to work through. Also, I got fourth house, so this could be somebody's, um, family or they could be a part of somebody's family there there could be a specific person in your family that uh is going through this okay always in trouble always doing something okay but doesn't want to take responsibility or accountability <clears throat> they tend to blame other people for their problems or getting themselves in problems and situations and circumstances that where they can't get out or they need help 13 13 on the clock as i said that it could be a lot here. It says, as you did in in the past. Let's see what the fourth house really talks about here. I want to be certain when I give you guys information, okay? Because this definitely could resonate with anyone. The fourth house talks about Gemini. So we definitely are in Gemini season also. Let me look up that card. Let me get this card real quick, y'all. So there could be a Gemini be a very specific here. Somebody can definitely be two-faced it, Okay. They could have a twin. This could be somebody's twin. Okay. This could also be somebody that really has a twin. Twin sister or twin brother. Okay. This symbolizes home and family. Like I said, come through, Spirit. This this house corresponds with Gemini. Come through. Your ancestors' maternal or caregiving features. I said guardianship. So this could be somebody's parents. Okay. Uh, figures in your life and tradition. So this is somebody that that stems from traditional ways, okay? Conventional ways, not unconditioned, unconventional ways. This is somebody that could be stuck in their ways, okay? This is also something to do with this person's job or um, their health could be at risk here as well or the way they be service to others has really drained this person or being a people pleaser could have affected this person, wants to be seen in the public, okay, 
as this real gentleman or this wheel this real lady but they're underneath they're not they're tormented okay with a lot of things happening stemming from family or to or, or you know ancestor lineages okay bloodlines what is good for us your work it says also as a full-time job serving do it a little as a t at a time so this could be somebody's job they, they could be explosive at their job they can blow up on everybody with this anger and stubborn some truth about something about somebody taking something because i did get anxiety i got that feeling in the pit of my stomach somebody could be in trouble at their job they could have faced some type of um correction or um supervisor action somebody could have got fired serving others here <laughs> somebody could have got caught up stealing it, or somebody health is declining here take it however resonates give me one more of these cards here mm. pisces could be very significant significant you could be um spiritually guiding this person to wake up trying to okay pisces talks about spirituality you know being psychic uh it also talks about your dreams okay it talks about being a part of something overwhelming okay some like a family could be overwhelming some of you guys okay your job could be overwhelming okay you could feel like you know it's just not working out for you, okay? You could be somebody that deals with uh, a lot of high anxiety, okay? Some of you guys could take medicine. This could be somebody that takes medicine for anger issues, aggression issues, okay? But something here, this person feels broken. It says, trusting your psychic knowledge, resulting from the indecision of or about. Somebody needs to make a decision what they want to do with them with themselves okay also on the top of this card it says cross path a mismatch mismatch of intentions clashing perspectives our journey misled seeks alignment so somebody needs to be in alignment i said somebody is facing unstableness imbalanced with their emotions okay they're not emotionally stable it's good. It says looming agenda here. You have different ideas about love and intimacy. Yeah, somebody needs love. I got the love card out here. Yeah. Somebody couldn't, the family couldn't have not love somebody. They, they may have not felt loved by their father or their mother. There could be some issues along that line too as well. It says looming agenda. So something is looming over this person. It's like a dark cloud. Okay. Somebody could have not treated you right here with love and intimacy here, collective. This could have been your ex or somebody you started a relationship or commitment with, and they were just terrible to you. They had anger issues. They were stubborn. Okay. They felt like you felt like you couldn't complete this person. You were overdoing it. Okay. For this person till it started to drain you. You couldn't give it to no, you couldn't give it no more energy here. This is somebody that is hard to love. They don't, they're not peaceful, okay? They could feel fragmented. Like I said, they could be distorted. They don't have any inner peace. They're not calm with themselves. They're not one with themselves. And number two, they're not aligned. <laughs> the card says alignment, seeks alignment. Somebody needs to seek alignment. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of things looming over this person's life. Yeah, they got a clouded vision. Come through spirit. It says, recognize and discuss red flags of areas of concern. You could have tried to discuss this and this person blew up at you. Okay? This could have been somebody you was intimate with and you loved and cared for. I just feel like somebody just gave up because the red flags was there. And I feel like if you didn't give up, this person was going to take you down with them. Yeah, it says flight plan. Sometimes things fall apart for the better things to come. Come through spirit. I'm speaking to somebody. This had to fall apart so you can so you can find yourself. Yeah, because somebody lacked 
Okay, awareness. Come through spirit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody didn't know themselves. Somebody always act out in their south nose. Somebody is not woke. Yes. And you're not attracted to this person at all. Seductive allure. Because somebody has a problem. A major problem. It says cravings, promises, hidden. Instant gratification blinds you to the consequences. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want to take responsibility for their consequences. And how things have ended up in their life. Just because they're not in alignment. They're asleep. Okay. They like acting out in their shadow side. They love that. They love the chaos, the conflict. All there is to come with somebody that needs a little love, that's broken and delicate on the inside. This is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. They self-sabotage a lot. That card came out before. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. Somebody could be, their health could be very bad. Their mental health. Mm. What else here, Spirit? Yeah. They don't want to travel the unknown because they don't know light. All they know is dark. Like I said, this could be a poker face or joker with the card here, with the hearts and the lucky here. I just feel like somebody just, they play, they play too many mind games. They don't want to surrender this. They don't have any faith, okay? Uncertainty, uncertainty is the only certainty there is. With you knowing your true self, you being whole and complete, Okay, and good health is the only way. Somebody may not want to do the work. This is what I'm getting, yeah. Ego and pride here. Arrogance. Under the bottom of the deck, we got pride out here. Yeah, we do. Somebody thinks they're fine. Ain't nothing wrong with them. But yes, it is. Come, somebody's broken in the inside. They're fragile. <laughs> Arrogance, not seeing flaws hinders growth come through spirit no limits to learn and to, and to improve humility awareness and growth that is so important in a relationship okay and sometimes we miss the red flags because we leave we love someone you know we try to disregard the red flags as i would say because we love them sometimes we got to stop doing that and make somebody take accountability for their actions. Okay? Even if that means you happen to walk clean out of their life. So they can grow up and to improve. Because this is exactly what this is. Somebody had to walk away. Somebody needs to walk away if they have not. They do. <laughs> yeah, with flight plan here. Somebody needs to take flight. Somebody needs to move. Sometimes things fall apart for better things to come to. Come through spirit. You got to let it blow up. You got to. This is the only way somebody is going to learn. Because they think this is okay to do this to someone because they're hurt on the inside. Hurt people hurt people. That's what I got. Let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Major changes is coming to somebody. I don't know if somebody is going to be put in a mental institution. Could be. Or somebody's going to be put in lockdown. It says personal power. The mysteries of life. Major change. Eighth house. It talks about transformation. Scorpio placements here. Okay. Could be significant. Okay. I get the tower energy here. I get death energy here. Both uh, <clears throat> Scorpio placements here. Let's see that card. Let's see what it says, guys. Because you know I don't mind getting into it. Because I want to give you the most concise answers here that you need in order to grow. Okay? Somebody uses other people's resources here. Getting and using power. Somebody could use manipulation here. Tactics to manipulate or play on somebody's emotions, their feelings. With anger and aggression just to get their way, okay? It says a house transformation. I cannot make it up. Come through spirit. Yeah. It says as life or death issues. Somebody need to wake up. 
Okay, somebody needs to transform. That's what somebody needs to do. It regulates the areas like death, longevity, and sudden unexpected events. The money we took away for long-term growth, such as our financial portfolios, real estate investments, including our lifespan. Somebody health could be bad. They could be losing their foundation. They could be losing financial um, control here. They could be losing a home with real estate investments here. <sighs> Somebody's just losing everything because they refuse to grow up here. They refuse to do the inner work. And you over here in your North Node, and you be damned if you let anybody drag you down with them in this type of energy. And I do not blame you. I do not blame you one bit. You're not finna drag me down. <laughs> You're not. You're not finna do that. It says lightning strikes. Dismantle outdated ways of being to get a fresh start. Somebody needs to dismantle old ways. Okay? Old ways of thinking. Awakening jolt. From shock, shock to epipity, epipity, embrace the upheaval as a catalyst for a renewal. Come through change. Come through spirit. <laughs> Somebody needs to go through this awakening and see people for who they really are and also see themselves for who they really are. Because they're not a good person right now. Somebody is sick. Whether that is physical or mentally, they're so sick. That's what I get from this. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, transition in the reverse. Somebody don't want to change. I keep telling y'all. Somebody do not want to go through this transformation. They like who they are. And it, it may take them out of here. I'm telling you, if they do not... Some people died the way they are, set in their ways. Something to do with the numbers 19. 2019 can be significant here. Why this person don't want to change? Ooh, because they are Jezebel. Come through spirit. This is why. Mm, mm, mm. 1997 can be significant here. This person is mentally unstable. They like being who they are. And they need to find God. Come through spirit with this priest here. Somebody needs to find God. 71 could be significant. 1971 could be significant. Somebody could have been born in that day. Okay. Or 17 could be significant. Mm-hmm. What else spirit on this person? Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody may want to contact you. This person may want to send you a message. Something to do with the number seven can be significant here. Okay, I see 77, so that 777, so that could be significant here too. That can be karma. That could be a bad thing. That could be a warning or that could be luck. Somebody thinks luck is on their side and it's not. This is a warning to somebody. Somebody need to change their life. Or they need seek help to do so. What else? Yeah. Earth angel here. So somebody could have tried to do something to you, earth angel. This Jezebel did. Okay. 1974 can be significant. Or 47 can be significant. I see 77, 77. Okay. Look up those numbers. They could be significant to this reading. Yeah, somebody is losing everything. I keep telling you guys, abundance is in the reverse because this person fails to do the work. They don't want to change. They like the position that they're in. They like the soul that they have. Somebody could even, may, can't even change. Somebody could have lost their soul from messing with an earth angel. <laughs> yeah, they're going towards destruction. Come through spirit. Tower to the death. I said that. <laughs> 1994 could be significant here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is not seen in high honor here at all. <laughs> Somebody could have tried to mess with a divine connection here with priest and priestess here. The high priestess and high priestess is here. 1972 can be significant here. Somebody tried to intervene in somebody's relationship here. 
a high honor relationship, a divine connection here. Somebody is trying to stop this. Two earth angels here. Okay, with the high priestess and the priestess here. High priestess. A priest and high priest. Yeah, somebody did this. Okay, somebody did. Somebody wanted this to, to be a, a, a goal of theirs. But didn't know this, this, this couple was high honor here. This is where, this is why this person is who they are. They trying to stop this from happening. And this Jezebel cannot. They cannot. What else here? What is the earth angel here, Spirit? Mm -hmm. They both are healers. Come through, Spirit. Mm -mm -mm. Something to do with 1980 could be significant here. Somebody wanted to bring destruction to a couple that is divinely connected. To what? Are you serious, girl? Somebody is dumb and arrogant. <laughs> Real talk. This is why this person is going through everything that she's going through right now. She's losing here. She's losing this battle. This is a battle that somebody cannot win. It's just simple as that. Okay? It's simple as that. Oh, this popped out. Oh, sh love spell in the reverse. Oh, somebody wanted somebody's divine counterpart. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody has a mission here. And this cannot be disrupted. This person could have been part. Ooh, this woman got an entity attached to her. This is why. And if she don't stop what she's doing with these love rituals and all this stuff, this magic, <laughs> some type of unexpected change is going to happen to this lady. And it's not good. It's not. This is a warning for somebody because this woman is unsuccessful and she may look a mess right now with single and uh, successful in the reverse. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and she's not going anywhere with ascending in the reverse. She's not moving forward at all. Spirit don't even recognize this person. Yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This what she was doing. She was in the divination and voodoo. Come through spirit. These two cards popped out. Somebody was doing voodoo and peering into somebody's divine union here through divination here. And this is why things are happening so harsh in this person's life. Because somebody do not want to grow up. Okay? <laughs> Somebody finna get struck down by lightning here if they do not stop this. Because this is never going to work. Somebody's going to have their divine counterpart. Period. This is why. Oh, Lord. This woman wanted to take this. But thief is in the reverse. This is an energetic thief, unsuccessful Jezebel that has an entity attached to them. Sick. Oh my God. And don't know self love. Self love is in the reverse. This woman don't have no manners. Whoever this is, she's dark. Her soul has left her body. She does not no, no longer control her vessel at all. This is why she don't feel complete. She don't have any inner peace. This is why she's broken on the inside with fra fragmentity here. Fra fragmentity here. She's, fra she's fragmented, distorted, and she walks around here like death. That's what I just heard. Wow. And she don't have any protection. Ancestors in the reverse. She has messed up her bloodline, her lineages. The ancestors do not respect her for doing this. So her ancestors even have abandoning her because she has full blown developed into a possession here with this entity attached here. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, this person is not a star scene and there is a karmic masculine working with this person. A dark karmic masculine too as well. 
I cannot. Why you two over here acting out in your north node? This is a third party here, guys. This woman done lost her uh, vessel. She has. And this karmic masculine has too. Give me one more here and then I'm going to get some tarot real quick. One more here, spirit. Oof. And they're confused and under some type of spell. Dark spell here. A lot of illusions, okay? A lot of confusion as to why none of this worked. And it, it, it will never work. Somebody is dumb. Somebody is, they're, they're not attached to their body here, y'all. I'm, I'm definitely picking this up. This is somebody that is not willing to do any work or willing to change. Would change under the bottom of the deck. This woman would die like this in this karmic masculine. They're both arrogant. They thought they can do something to ruin somebody's divine connection and didn't know you was protected. Archangel Michael is here. Okay? Somebody, man, they would not let this go. And they're so weak, so drained with the sun under the bottom of the deck in the reverse. And if they do not stop this, whoever this woman is, death is going to come to her front door. <laughs> This is a warning for somebody. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot. This person don't even love nobody. She does a lot of voodoo and she spies through diminution here. 1970 could be significant here. 24, 51 could be significant. 59 could be significant. 1998 could be significant. 85, 1985 could be significant. 87, 81. 80, uh, 6 89 can be significant mm, mm, mm. Trying to fuck with a couple of star seeds Earth angels, healers My collective In the collective They're divine unions These people are out to get y'all divine unions Yeah These people are two-faced They could be a part of your family With a, a fourth house here This, this can be friends People are using definition as a tool, a way to seek out information to destroy these divine unions here. I know y'all, I'm not the only reader that's reading on and picking up on this energy. <laughs> but this is connect, this is, this is protected here. What else here, spirit? That woman just, yeah, what did I say? It's protected here. Okay. Because Spirit says so. You can't touch this. Whoever this woman thought she could. Whatever spell work, whatever voodoo she thought she was going, whatever divination or going to a practitioner, whatever she did to try to change the outcome of this, it, it was not successful. And this entity has really taken over her body. This entity has really took this person down through there. They're weak. Somebody could be actually sick. They can be walking around here looking and feeling like death. Woof. Man. She tried to do something to her empress too. A divine union. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. And she's trying to stop this tower from falling. And I'm going to leave it right there because I know what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. The tower is out here twice. Death is out here twice. Come through spirit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Got, they got the angels here protecting this. Okay. This is protected. Whether this person wants it not to be or not. And whoever her little companion is. They going to have to be shut down. Because the angels is not playing about this divine connection here. Not at all. Come through spirit. Judgment after that. Yeah. Somebody is restricted to this magic here y'all. Come through spirit. This entity has attached themselves to this person's life. Judgment, the temperance, and the eight of swords. I cannot make it up. This person ain't trying to wake up here. This is somebody that's not trying to. They would rather be in chaos and conflict within spiritual court. This is where they would rather be. I really hope this helps someone. 
I really hope it gives you the clear and concise answers that you need. Again, this has been Goddess Nicole Terrell. Peace, love, and light to your collective. Until next time, mwah. bye. Y'all stay safe, and I love you guys. Take care.